In this example, we will explain how to create meta chains for tables and legends. So with that, we'll get started. The system of interest for this case is the bike, as you see here. Each of the blue dots uh, refers to a component of the bike itself that you're seeing within this bike component package. We've also created three different breakdowns of the bike. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. The thing to note is that they're using the same components from this bike component package, and we have other blocks within the bike top level package. So what we will do now is we will create our table, create a generic table. We will pull in the block as our element type. We will pull in the top level bike package as our scope, and you can see a list of names here. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to highlight these bike components, but we want to see all of the components in the list. So it's not very clear which are bike components when we're looking at it here, but if we create a uh, legend, we can do that. So we'll create a legend, call it, oh, call it new legend, and we will create a legend item, item one, and we'll go into the specification of this, add an adornment, so what color it'll be. We'll make this one light blue. And now what we can do is we can scroll down and add by condition. The first I should show you is you can just add specific elements. So if we just want to search out chain stay and add it, I click OK, chain stays there, and now chain stay highlights but we would like to do it by condition instead of one by one manually. So I can go here. And what we'll do is we will create a meta chain insert. So we will start with a block and we can go to the owner of that block and then we're going to make that the start of the uh, property te test. And then we'll say the name has to be equal to bike component. So to explain what we just did, go up to columns, select owner of that column. And all the ones that have bike component as the owner of the original block are highlighted. And that's because all the ones in this list right here are living within the bike component package. Let's now say you want to highlight all of the blocks which have bike system context, either one, two, or three, as the owner. So what you would do is create a new legend entry, go into that entry just as before, Add the adornment, make this one green, and then we'll scroll down to by condition. We'll create a meta chain. Start with the block again. We'll go to the owner again, and we will. That time it let me do it. Pull it in, use our property te test, go to name, 
this time we can't use exactly the same thing every time so bike system context and if we do one it will just highlight that first one if we go in here and use our special asterisk sign it will allow us to do all of them awesome in this next example we're going to remove that first item from the legend and then we're going to show a different way to meta chain to a generalization relationship so it requires a little bit more setup but what we've got here is all of the blocks and they have generalization relationships to this new byte component abstract block which has been created and so now when you look inside of the one of these blocks you can see under general you see byte component under all general classifiers you see byte component under the super classifier you see it as well as the base classifier and if I pick another one you'll see the same thing so some of these blocks have multiple classifiers and we'll address that later but they all have this generalization relationship and they all connect to byte component all right so we'll jump back to our table here's our table and we're going to create a new column a new custom column it's going to be a meta chain so we can delete all these other like the simple navigation find implied relationship uh, we'll, we'll title this meta chain superclass and we'll just look for the superclass here and we'll click OK. You can see the super class here. You could have picked any of those other options as well, meaning you could have picked uh, general or all general classifiers or the other two. We picked super class. And so now what we want to do is we actually want to create a filter over the top of this super class and filter out just the name byte component. So we'll right click here, edit custom column. So super class plus filter. So I will create the filter, I'll make my MediChain navigation the input of the filter, and then I'll have a property test be the predicate. And then we'll look at name, name, and then byte component. And let's try that. There we go. So we're seeing just the byte component superclass as our column. So what we're going to do for our item, we're going to make a new item for our legend right here, item three. And again, we'll go in and add an adornment. So the way that the legend works is it's basically a Boolean. Yes, no, it's a type test, property test. Um, so we're just going to make exactly what we made in this column, except for we're going to wrap the entire thing in a property test. So I'll go ahead and create exactly what I created before. So we had a filter. Uh, our input was a meta chain. Our meta chain input was a block that had the super class. The predicate was a property test. So this is a second property test. Um, and we went to name and byte component and so now we should be able to do that drag this filter this filter is the same as this column so and uh, property test I think I could leave this blank We'll try that. Didn't look like it worked. So I'm going to go back in here and we'll just do the same thing. Name. Oh, not that name. General name is going to be a little redundant, but this will work. There we go. So you see that all of the rows that have the byte component and this are going to be highlighted. And if you wanted to, you could just hide this row so you're kind of back to where you were. So now the reason why this is better is you could actually change the name of this, this package 
and you still get to keep the um, adornment. Your legend still works. It's not dependent on the name of the package. So you need to think about that while you're creating your legends. Is is the name of whatever you're using going to change? For example, remember how I used bike component multiple times and I searched for the name of the, the block bike component? Now, the, everything in my uh, legend is dependent upon this name not changing, this bike component name not changing. So the final thing we will do is circle back around to this original three different decompositions that we've created. And uh, what we can do is we can just drag our legend onto the screen and it will apply itself to any diagram that we want it to. So we just applied it to uh, this first one and then you can go back and apply it to the second one. And this would allow you to see which are the components versus which are the assemblies. And I gotta do it to the third one. So it's easier to troubleshoot what you're doing with the meta chains within this table, but uh, you can put your legend, once you've created your legend using the meta chains, into any diagram. So I hope this example helped.